When you think about the Okanagan Valley, many things may come to your mind. You might think about the orchards, the vineyards, the sandy beaches, and the clean, cool lakes. What you might not think about is milfoil. So what exactly is milfoil? It's a pain in the ass. Okay, well, besides being a pain in the you-know-what, milfoil is a pesky foreign weed that has invaded the lakes of the Okanagan Valley. It grows in the shallower parts of the lake, which is unfortunately right where we all like to swim. That's a bit of a conflict. What's worse is that milfoil is persistent. Once introduced in a lake, it's almost impossible to completely remove milfoil, so instead we control it by using these big bad weed-eating machines. In the winter months, the crew can be seen driving these monsters. Milfoil doesn't have any chance uh, against these blades. This machine acts like a giant rototiller, digging up the roots of the milfoil, which don't stand a chance of survival against the cold temperatures of the lake. In the summertime, you might find the crew working on these machines called harvesters. This machine acts as an underwater lawnmower. It cuts the weeds and then removes them with this conveyor belt. The crew must remove the weeds in the summertime because the warmer water allows the milfoil to stay alive and even regrow in another area once it has been cut. Once the harvesters collected enough weeds, it dumps them on beaches and piles like this one. This pile here is destined to become organic compost on a farm somewhere, but you might even use it in your garden. Now let's meet the team that makes milfoil removal happen in the Okanagan Valley. Meet Pat, the master of milfoil. Some say that they have seen milfoil shake in its boots when Pat is near. Ian has a career record of 4 billion milfoil kills and zero losses. If there's a fight between Ian and milfoil, you know where my money is. Gord has made a name for himself by being so fast that the trucks working to take his milfoil piles away can barely keep up. I'd like to invite you to come along for a day in the life of a milfoil driver. The work day begins early for these guys and often with a hearty breakfast. I eat milfoil for breakfast. Okay, so they don't actually eat milfoil for breakfast, but that is how serious they take their job. The first task of the day is to find the milfoil. They could use the technology available, but these guys are so good, they don't even need it. I can tell we're getting close to the milfoil. Yep, another half a kilometer. Some say that the milfoil driver has a sixth sense which is specially tuned to seek only milfoil and avoid natural and sensitive areas of the lake. Our senses are so keen, we can detect milfoil blindfold. That's it. The milfoil crew must be ready for anything out on the lakes. And yes, this includes being ready for the residents. Help! Help! What's that? A damsel in distress? Sir, there's weeds in front of my house. Can you please come cut them? Sorry, ma'am. That's uh, not milfoil. That's Bon McGee. There's that keen milfoil sense again. Although the crew would love to help, the natural weeds like Potomagetan provide valuable habitat for the fish in the lake and must be left alone. Being a milfoil driver takes dedication because milfoil doesn't take a break. And neither do these guys. Rain or shine, we're out working. Milfoil doesn't seem to have many friends in the Okanagan Valley. Even the dogs don't seem to care for it much. But it's here, and it's not going anywhere. So let's just be thankful that we have these guys to control it for us. Thanks for all your hard work in the Okanagan, boys. Keep it up.